Yeah, bang, bang, rail. Um, I was with this guy, Steve, yeah, and I was just running around doing silly things. And a couple of my mates from Abbott Grove that way uh, phoned me up and said, come down and run a chat. Go down and see them. And they're saying to me, uh, what are you up to, mate? I said, well, not a lot, really. Just anything, really. Whatever you got, what you got. He said, well, you know, uh, we got a load of phones the other, the other night. And and this place is packed with phones, right? Packed with phones. They've got a great big container in there. It's massive, mate. It's full of phones. He said, they've got to be two or three mil in there, phones all around, all, everywhere, all around the warehouse, everything, nothing but phones, phones, phones. He said, you're gonna need a big truck if you're gonna do it, yeah? So I said, I wanna get in there, it's not so easy, you know what I mean? So then I had to think, and I thought to myself, I know a guy that's got some police uniforms and custom and exercise uniforms, because he approached me about a couple of weeks before and wanted to know if I know anybody that wanted them. So I went and see him, and I said, you still got any uniforms about you? He went, yeah. I said, how much you want for them? He went, X amount. So I said to my, my pal, I phoned my pal, I said, can I come and see you? I said, yeah. So he gave me uh, two uniforms. And I went to my pal, I said, look, my mate's got these. Are you interested? He went, God, you're joking. He said, yeah, not only is he uniforms, he said, there's them as well, ID cards. Oh, I couldn't believe it, mate. I thought, wow. So I said to my pal, listen, I said, that warehouse with all the phones in, I'm up for that, yeah? I said, but I've got to have the uniforms. So he said, buy them. So I bought the uniforms, and I took them to my place, and I put them on, and they fitted, one of them fitted really well, yeah? so they set like SO19 uniform fitted me really well. So the only, there was another one with a sergeant on it, and all it was the business, honestly. So I phoned my mate up, Steve, the one I got a nick with, yeah? So I phoned him up, I said, um, come over. So he came over. I went, look what I've got. I put my uniform on and he went, hold up. So all of a sudden I put a uniform on, right? And with the hat. And these had flat hat seasons, right? So I put it on and got in the lift and went downstairs, yeah? In the, in, well, I was, I was living in a place called Stepping House in Labbert Grove, yeah? So look, my pals are all around there. So I've got this little flat, it's lovely, right? So I get in my mate's car, we fly around, I go and see my mate Ernie Wise, he's dead now, rest in peace Ernie. And I know what I've done, I knocked at the door, but I turned around so he couldn't see me properly, but he looked for the spine. <laughs> he could see I was banging on the door, you know what I mean? And he like, he shit himself, yeah? And then when he came to the door, mate, he said, you right? <laughs> He went mad, he went mad, yeah. So I said, listen, I, I, like, Ernie's such a nice guy, mate, Ernie Wise, he was like, he was proper with me, you know what I mean? So, he went, where did you get them from? So I told him, he went, fucking hell. He said, they're handy, right? I said, oh, no, no, no. So I went to breakfast one, one, one day with him, we went down to Fulham Road, Fulham Palace Road for, for a bit of breakfast. And I goes in there with a the uniform, I swear to God, no one knew it was me. <laughs> I swear. No one, was, and everybody was like, where we, anyway, in the death, um, took the hat off and all sat in the other, and everyone was laughing and joking about it, yeah. Thought he was one of them gimmick ones, yeah. Anyway, so I went to a mate of mine's house, a pal of mine's house, uh, about this uh, warehouse. He went, listen, he said, we went in there about, what, two weeks ago. And we've got a load of phones at this warehouse, a bit inside the warehouse, there's a great big container and it's full of phones, right? It's full of these phones, these these, these razor phones, yeah? And I said, well, okay. He went, you got the ideal thing there, mate. Please, you know, you're getting it away, easy. We went round the back of it, yeah? And because we went round the back, I mean, they're not going to think anybody's going to come through the front door. I mean, this is two weeks, it's all, but obviously it's all been bricked up, but, they ain't gonna think no one's gonna come through the front door. So I went, okay. So I got on my car defendant. I put my uniform on and I walked round where it is, yeah? Just to look where it was, whereabouts, whatever. And I, and I thought, yeah, it's got a note. There wasn't it, listen, let me tell you something. There wasn't even taking a notice of me, mate, as the police officer was walking around the, the estate where it, all, where it is, yeah? 
So anyway, so I'm walking around there looking and I thought, yes, this can be done, you know. So now I've got to get people to help me, yeah. So now I'll get hold of some people to give me a hand and that I want them to be customers. So when they when they come and see me, I've got them to put these custom exercises in from John and they fitted, mate, you know, a bit maybe a little bit big, but they was all right, they fitted as such. So I went, yeah, this has got to be done. This cus this has got to be done. This phone mobile phone well, this has got to be done, yeah. But I'm on the quack, but I'm not on the quack uh when I say bad, bad, but I'm on the quack. Well, quack like it's bad anyway, isn't it? But I'm active, yeah? I don't care, I'm very active. So I got them back to these, these kids, and, and, you know, and uh, I told them all about it, and but what happened, they pulled away, they pulled out of it. They didn't want to do it, they didn't fancy it. Their arseholes went. So now, I've got, it's got to be done. I mean, I'm really up for it. And I said to my mate, uh, Steve, we need a big lorry. So he got a big lorry, big boxed in lorry, and he parked outside, and I said to my pal, I need two people. So he drove up with his two guys, only young guys. Uh, so get in the back of the, uh, back in the, uh, uh, of the van, yeah? I was smoking crack in the back of the van. I've done, I don't know what I've done, but I've done a load, yeah? I needed it to do this thing, I was just, I needed it, yeah? So they got in the van, they put the uniforms on, and they fitted nicely, yeah? So I said, I told them what I'm gonna do. I said, look, I'm going to go in there, like SR19. Right? My mate Steve's driving the driving the box back, back motor. He's got another police uniform on, so it looks to park if anybody pop, goes past, yeah. Because I'm SR19, I thought, so what I'm going to do, so I'm, I'm on the park, so it's a bike. These two kids are in the van. So I said, listen, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk to where the, the to where it is and i said also a big lorry pulled in whoa big lorry goes in and goes into the into the place yeah and they shut pulled down the shutters and it's that i went no we're not going to go in yet we'll wait so i'm outside for about what i don't know seems like forever yeah but we've got we're all built so it doesn't really we, you know no one's really taking a notice of us as such but there is cameras yeah but who cares at that time mess on 19 mark anyway so when 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 they when when the lorry goes comes out, he drives by. I show out, all right, mate. Show out to him, you know, and he go bump. I walk in into the car phone warehouse. Right? As I walk into the car phone warehouse, I've got these two custom exercise geezers behind me. As they're pulling down the shutters, I bang on the door. Bum, 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 bum. He opens the keys. I opens the opens the door, and now he's the manager. He's the floor manager. Uh, so I said, uh, hello mate, he said, I'm cussing exercise. I mean, sorry, they said, they're cussing exercise. Uh, we're here to uh, check your phones. We've got reason to believe that there's a fraud going on and they say, no, yeah. So they let us in, they can't do anything, they let us in. I just go in. These two now, I've told them, they've got to take the hard drive. They've got to take the hard drive. And they went upstairs, crash. As I went upstairs, I'm going in now, and then Steve, my mate, I'll show him out, but he pulls the lorry near, he gets out the lorry, walks over with me, walks over to me inside the warehouse. He's got a police uniform on, but he's a sergeant. Yeah. He comes in, and I'm saying to these people, the floor manager, why well, everybody in the warehouse, there's quite a few people in there, I said, we've got a cable tie, every one of you, before, before our own safety and your safety. So the floor manager's going, what is it all about? And I'm saying, look, so we've got a reason to believe there's a full gun on with the phones, yeah? We've got two prongs and guns and three prongs. Anyway, changing them all there and then. So cable tie him up. Uh, they're all sitting on the floor. Uh, we're walking around. We goes over to the great big container. I open this big container up and it's Keiko with boxes boxes of phones, big massive boxes, you know, like massive, full of phones. And everywhere you look on the tables, there's phones, yeah? They're, they're, they're just putting them in boxes and stuff, you know, whatever, to be delivered. And they put it in this big black van, there's a massive van in there, a massive big box, 
box black band that they must put all the stuff into the delivery orders wherever they deliver it to the shops or whatever. But it's massive, it's about, I don't know, three tons, it's big. So now, silly me, you know, I'm not thinking straight, I've been on the pipe, I'm not thinking straight. I said, well, every one of you have got to get in the back of that van so we feel a bit more secure when we're looking around doing what we're doing. I said, then I can call my, my men in or outside, don't forget, Steve's just part of the van out there. Steve's in there with me, and now they're cable tied. The, the floor manager, this big Irish guy, has gone into one, right? As soon as I told him to get in the van, what a stupid, stupid thing to do, you know what I mean? Crazy thing, I should never say that. Is I mean, what, what you know, I'm supposed to be SO19, police officers, and all that, and I'm telling them to get in the van, you know. And anyway, don't make no sense. Straight away, he's saying, This is a robbery, you know, what I mean, you're not police. But he gets up off the floor and he runs towards me. But as he's running towards me, he's, this guy, he's ripped, snapped his cable ties. I've never known anybody to do that, you know what I mean. He snapped his cable ties, he comes over to me like a lunatic, but I've got his big SO19 gloves on. Well, these SO19 gloves you put on, right, they're um, ball bearings in them, yeah? And they've all got ball bearings over the thumbs, over the knuckles, everywhere, so, you know, you get hit with anything, it doesn't hurt. But if you hit anybody with it, it's going to cause a lot of damage. And I can really bang, you know what I mean? So, he's come rushing over and crash, hit him. But as I've hit him, uh, his jaw is gone, yeah? He's gone. I put <coughs> like that, he's gone. I've hit him so hard because he's running towards me and also I'm hitting him. He said, you can imagine the force. But he's now, his cheekbone has come for the side of his jaw, yeah? He's on the floor, he's, I don't know, I go down there, give him a few more, knock him out, all right? Pull the van in, uh, load the van up with all these phones and everything. The kids from upstairs come down. They've got computers, everything. They've nicked to the watches and the rings, the money, everything. They've got bags of this and bags of that. Put them in the back of the van, all right? They don't want to go in the back, get in the back of the van. There's not a lot of room in there, it's 30 phones. Drive out, but as you drive out, there's, there's the alarms going off, there's old bill everywhere, vans, cars, everywhere. Like a lunatic, I drove the van straight out. I'm driving the van, I'm not a very good driver, you know. I drove at it, cars bashing, vans bashing all over the gaff, yeah. Driving like a lunatic. The only thing that really surprised me that they never they never followed us, they never followed us. Uh, we didn't put, we didn't put no, I don't mean they didn't put no helicopters up or nothing. Yeah, I think man, I don't know why, I don't know why. Maybe because it was too much of a threat for public safety, and we are gone anyway. Uh, that's just a little bit. I'm going to tell another bit a bit uh, later or tomorrow. Yeah, but um, we got. Uh, a lot of phones and we got a lot of birds as well and uh, this is bang bang all layer.